ライオンズ TV。Hey guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryan Ishida. I was born and raised in Japan. I'm a local Japanese food and travel full time YouTuber. Today, I will cook really popular Japanese food, katsudon, which is deep fried pork cutlet rice bowl. Right now, I'm heading to g y o n g Supermarket where you can find many cheap and interesting stuffs. So, first, let me show you how the Japanese supermarket looks like and how much the katsudon ingredient costs in Japan. It's cloudy today. Hope it will not rain. Speaking of the season in Japan, there is a rainy season in June. It continues about a month. Yes, that's right. Motorbike riders will have a hard time from now. Alright, l anyway, supermarket is almost there, so let's go! Hey guys, welcome to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Go. Come on! Can you guys see that green sign over there? That's a really popular cheap supermarket called g y o n g Super. Well, compared to Super Tamade, Super Tamade only you can find it in Osaka, but g y o n g Super you can find it in everywhere. So, anyway, I need to buy the Katsudon's ingredients. I think it's much better to show you guys how it looks like inside, much better than me talking and explaining. So, let's go shopping. Let's go. Alright, so let me show you and let me explain what kind of stuff they have. First, I need a pork loin. Well, this one is too thick, but I can cut it, so let's get this. Next, I need onion. Wow, five onions for 158 Japanese yen. It's a good deal, so let's get this. Many people use this edible clover for katsudon, but I prefer to use shiso leaves. So let me get the shiso leaves. We need to use panko, which is red crumbs, but I have one at home. So this time I will not buy one. Look at this salmon, it's big but cheap. I love to eat salmon with rice and miso soup for the breakfast. Wow, nice scallop from Hokkaido. I was thinking of buying sweets, but I will buy this for my dessert. Speaking of this supermarket, they have many kinds of frozen food compared to other places. For example, this one is cut onion, cut paprika, cut green pepper, and cut shiitake mushroom. So, this supermarket is really good for someone who cooks small p o r t i o n And also, they have onigiri rice bowl as well. It's only 55 Japanese yen. It's really cheap. And also, they sell drinks with really cheap price. Look at this ramune soda. It's only 65 Japanese yen. Yes, I buy this too. Alright, so done with shopping. Let's go home and cook. I'm so excited. Let's go. Alright, so first, let's cut shiso leaves. Next, let's cut onion. I just need to use half of it, so I will wrap it and put it in the fridge. After I cut the veggies, now it's time to cut pork. This is too thick for deep fries, so I will cut it for half. Then cut meat so that pork will be tender. Use salt and pepper for both sides. 
and now cold meat with flour. Prepare two eggs and the panko. Then dip the meat into egg and the panko. Yes, it's ready for the deep fried. Add the oil into the pan. I usually use the chopsticks to check the temperature. When you see the small bubbles, it means temperature is ready. Alright, so let's put it in. I don't want to eat raw pork, so I usually deep fry it for 5 minutes. Mmm, it looks good. So, tonkatsu is ready now. Now, let's make it to katsudon. Add 100 ml of water, 2 tablespoons of sake, 2 tablespoons of mirin, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of dashi. After boiled, add onion. Then boil it for a while. When onion gets softer, now it's time to add the tonkatsu. Prepare the three eggs and mix them. And place half of them. Boil it for a while. And place the other half. Turn off the fire and leave it for a while. Yes, it's ready. Just place them on the rice. <laughs> no, it became totally mess. <laughs> Let me retry it because I need to make them look good for the video. Now place the shiso leaves. <laughs> I think it looks okay. And this is the other one. It doesn't look good, but it tastes the same though. Alright, it's ready! <laughs> well, katsudon and katsudon. <laughs> yes, that's a real life. Well, if I were a cooking YouTuber, I would show only this one. But this is a daily Japanese life vlog, so I'm showing you guys real life. You know, looks different, but it would taste same. Let's eat. But before we eat today's beer, ta -da! Asahi! Yes, katsudon with beer? So good. Kanpai! Ah! Saiko! Alright, so let's try katsudon! Well, to be honest, it's not as good as the restaurant's one, but I believe this is good because I made it. <laughs> so, itadakimasu! Mmm, oishii! You know, I just deep fried it so it's crispy, but the ingredient is really soaked into the tonkatsu. Hmm. Ah, loving it. So next, let me eat it with shiso leaves. So place the shiso leaves on top of pork cutlet. <laughs> As you see during the cooking, the katsudon use a lot of sugars and the mirin. So basically the taste is sweet. However, if we put the shiso leaves, the shiso leaves stronger flavor can be an accent for the taste. So if you want to make katsudon, I definitely recommend to use the shiso leaves. 
psycho. So speaking of the katsudon, yes, it is really popular food in Japan. Yeah, I believe many family cook katsudon at home. My mom always cook for us the katsudon. As you see, first we have to make tonkatsu and then make it the katsudon, right? You know, I have a two brothers, so we eat a lot. So this is how the katsudon works in my family. My mom cook a lot of tonkatsu for the first night. She put the tonkatsu into the fridge. In the second day, make it the katsudon. Yes, so we knew that whenever we get the tonkatsu for the first day, we were expecting to come in the katsudon for the next day. Yeah, that's how it worked. And then usually when I cook it for myself, deep fry takes a lot of time and oil. So I usually went to the supermarket and I buy the pre-cooked tonkatsu, which is usually cheap. After that, I take it home and cut onion, mix with egg, and made a katsudon like this. Oh yeah, I think that's the cheapest way to eat the katsudon. Katsudon. However, whenever I don't have time, I go to the bento store and then order the katsudon bento. Yeah, I think if we buy the tonkatsu at the supermarket and cook it at home, thinking about the ingredients costs like 400 Japanese yen. And if we buy the katsudon at the bento store, it costs like a 600 Japanese yen, I believe. So, you know, it's a bit cheaper. And also, you can cook it as you want. So, that's why I used to cook it by myself. Yep. Mm. Oh, maybe it doesn't make sense for you much, but uh, for me, this is shiso ribs and uh, onion and egg. It's already really tasty. Of course, if I don't have a pork cutlet, I wouldn't feel that I am eating katsudon. But for me, this shiso ribs, onion, egg, it's already good enough. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, let me take it back. With pork cutlet, for sure, much better. <laughs> oh, psycho. Well, I still have this much katsudon, but uh, this will be my tomorrow's lunch. I will eat this while I'm editing tomorrow. Yes, because I still have scallop. So, let me wrap it. And yes, it's perfect. All right, so I really look forward to the scallop. So let's cook scallop. Before cooking the scallop, let me show you how we trash used cooking oil in Japan. This is the powder that makes the cooking oil from liquid to solid. Just place it into the cooking oil and leave it for a while. Then it became like this. And now we can trash it in the trash can. Okay, so let's cook the scallop. Actually, this is my first time to cook the grilled scallop. Hopefully, I can make it good. I add the butter and the soy sauce. Now it's ready. Huh, looks good. Scallops seafood plus butter and the soy sauce smell. It smells really good. <laughs> Look at my face. Yes, it was that good. It was really good. Outside it's kind of hard, but inside it's really tender. Well, I love the scallop. You know, whenever I walk in front of Dotonbori, there is a place that they sell the scallop on the street. I think the price was 500 Japanese yen. I'm not sure. I can't remember the price, but whenever I passed that store, I was like, I want it eat it but it's too expensive today yes i could eat this well i'm pretty sure if i eat those two scallops in kuromo ichibo market yeah i think it would cost about 1000 japanese yen <laughs> yes so this is osaka people too whenever we save money we feel happy i think this is a kind of culture difference usually people from tokyo they are more like high pride usually they don't want to show they got the something with cheaper price so if they they got the something with cheaper price, they wouldn't tell other people that they got the discount. But for Osaka people, 
totally different story. Somehow, Osaka people love to tell others that they got the discount or they got the really good deal. Well, I think it's because of Osaka is a merchant town. Yeah, so that's the difference between Tokyo and Osaka people. You know, generally talking in Japan, yeah, this is what people usually say. Anyway, so that was really good to scale up. Hold on one second, I still have ramen and soda. Ta-da! Yes, ramen and soda. It was really cheap, so I got these. Yeah, let me put it on side because I want to introduce ramune. The ramune soda, this one was 68 Japanese yen. I remember when I was in LA, I tried a really popular teppanyaki restaurant called Benihana. They had the ramune, but I don't remember the exact price, but it was really expensive and I was surprised. Uh, about 100 Japanese yen, that's how it is in Japan. So this is how we open. Let me show you guys how to open this. This is really popular soda in Japan. Usually, we drink this ramune soda during the summer festival. You know, because of the COVID-19, I'm not sure if we can have summer festival for this year or not, but hopefully, yes. So this is how it works. There is a cap on the ramune, the marble on top, and it is really simple. Just place like this and push it. Oops. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's drink. Kanpai. Ah, loving it. Yeah, whenever I drink this, I remember my childhood memory. I have two brothers and my parents took us to the summer festival during the summer season. And we drink this ramune. Well, at that time, I never felt I would be an adult. Hmm. Huh. Ramune soda always makes me nostalgic. But I'm pretty sure if someone who grew up in Japan, they have kind of memory with this ramune soda. Yes, this is that popular. So let me teach you some drinking tip for the ramune soda. I remember when I saw the Strictly Dumpling Mike Chen's video, he was drinking this ramune soda, but he was saying that this marble always stuck. So this is the drinking tip of ramune. There are two bumps over here. This is for holding the marble. Just find the two bumps and then try to put it in front of you so that this ball will never come to you. And then here is the next tip. Now whenever if you can't finish drinking this, this is what you got to do. You know, try to put the marble and try to suck it as hard as possible. Ta -da! Yes, it perfectly hold it. And whenever you want to drink it again, just place like this. Ah, yeah, I really hope that the situation gets better and then people can visit Japan and we can have summer festival and the fireworks together. Yeah. I really hope so. All right. Today I had the katsudon, scallop, and ramen. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not drunk at all, though. Let me do it again. So today I had the katsudon, scallop, and ramen soda. Also asahi too. Ah, <sighs> that was so good. Loving it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so that you won't miss my new videos and surprise live stream. Also, if you like the video, please share the video with your friends. More power to the channel, more videos. Arigato! Alright, so thank you so much for watching my video. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. So see you in the next video. Arigato! Bye-bye!